comes Rhonda and Mr. Cole and got Mr. Reese with us and we got Mr. Reagan with us and we got Dave Ledbetter with us and uh, this is Levi Ogle's old place. One room log cabin in the old days and then you can see that rock corner back there where they added another room onto the cabin. And we're up Fall Branch out of Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We're in the woods. We're up what they call Connor Gap, the old Connor Mountain Range, between Roaring Fork and Sugarland area. Little home place right here. We're way back in the woods. And poor old Ron doesn't know where she's at. We're just having fun. Okay, we're up behind Richard Ogle, known as Bloomington, Richard Ogle's place, and a uh, little thicket of uh, roto and stuff, but there's a little flat spot right here, it's real level, and according to uh, Herb Table and Lucinda Ogle, there should be about five graves right there, and uh, I was looking for a rock, but can't really see a step up that shows up on the old deeds or maps, but we're definitely in the right spot. And that's kind of dug out of the bank right there, real little. I think that's where those babies are buried at. But right here is the chimney remains of Rem Oinby. And you can see these trees have fallen across it and crushed it. And uh, there's actually timber still left from the house right here in the yard. In 1991, this place was still standing about eight feet high all the way around. And you can see the wind damage up here, a bunch of trees have fallen. But right back up in there on a third degree angle off the corner of the chimney northeast is another five or six baby graves and uh, almost impossible to find them today. Now I was told that either this big rock right here, or the big rock right over there that Dave and Ronda are checking out, was where one of the old, old ogles carved their name in the rock in the 18th 40s. We'll check it out to see if we can find anything.
this may look like a regular rock cairn right here in front of us. There's another one right here piled up on top of a very large rock. This is actually marking five graves right here in between the two rock piles. And these are either the children of Father Elke's grandpa who lived right down below this, or the old Noah Ogle who was married to Mary Carr, or Kerr, how you want to pronounce it. This is in Lucinda's notes, Ogle, and also in her Claybo's notes. So I take this as being a very factual old mountain graveyard. Right below a big bluff. A little pretty little cascade back in there. What used to be called Henry Branch, named for Henry Oakley.